Uh, we live? Uh, we live. Seems like we are. Okay. Uh, first thing I noticed about this uh, that could be improved before I wrapped this up last time is we could definitely move all of this up one tile or put it in an another way I could move this down a tile and that's probably which way is the cleanest way to do it with the piping let's see I think we probably have to remove this. Oops, where are we? So let's grab... Gonna have to have an underground here. Um, move all of this down a tile. I guess that could just be regular pipe. And... Uh, yeah, that makes a bit more sense, I think. Let's just get this stuff off the belt. Cool. And... Now, unfortunately, a 15-tile pipe will just not quite fit. So let's maybe do it like so. Uh, Fiverr doesn't connect here. Good. Okay. Hey, Ninja Dogs. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So that is uh, biocombustion data. Biomechanical data it doesn't seem to be working at the moment, probably because there's no lubricant. A little bit odd, I thought I saw that working before. Uh, where's my magic pipe? Lubricant, there it is. Cool. And then we need biomechanical data. That's right, these are all actually pretty straightforward, except for dealing with the output fluids. Oh, and we need to deal with blank data cards up here as well. Which I think I'm going to unite those with the blank data cards coming out of here. But other than that, so far, we don't have any waste output products. And we've got one, two, three, and now we need genetic data. I have a feeling this is where it's going to get complicated. So this thing makes genetic data directly. Outputs contaminated cosmic water. Is that what this is? Yes. So I'll probably want that to go there. Not sure how many I'm going to need. Um, blank data card plus bio sludge. Okay. I think I would like to start by designing more of these than we need. And... Just make sure there's going to be enough room, and we can always take some off later. Uh, this isn't going to happen to line up with that, but we can change that. So let's see. One input, one output. We don't actually... Oh, we do have an output for biomechanical data. Um, I, we can't actually set these long arms to reach that belt. 
redoing space science. Yes, indeed. Uh, the goal is a... Uh, we're doing this in design mode. It's going to be a fairly big project, but the goal is a main bus style uh, base that will do rocket science packs, uh, astronomic science pack one, bio one, energy one, and material one. And have it all fit together reasonably well. We've already got the astronomic one. We've got mechanical one. This is bio one, and after that we've just got energy one, and possibly redesign the uh, rocket science pack a little bit. But basically once we've done those two, it's just a matter of fitting the jigsaw together. And we'll be ready to build it in our main game. Oh, this is convenient. Um, so that is, maybe that could fit right about here, except then it's never going to line up with those, is it? This one's off by one, this one's off by three. I guess we can just do regular pipe, but trouble with this is um, we can't really share this belt what if I did longer no I think we'll just put them on separate belts I will share a pipe between these though So output, contaminated cosmic water, that'll be fine. Input is bio sludge. Do we have anywhere already that's using bio sludge as an input? Actually, no. Okay. None of this uses bio sludge. What about this thing? No bio sludge. Is there actually only one building in this entire build that directly uses bio sludge? Design mode? Uh, yeah, this is using a mod called Editor Extensions. Is it me or is Twitch acting up? I hope not. Uh, I'm not getting any notifications about dropping frames. Nope, we're good so far. Oh, uh, I may have forgotten to change it back to 60 FPS. Constant buffering on my side? Ouch. Yeah, if anything, it, there should be less issue at the moment, because I think I left this on 30 frames per second from playing Satisfactory. Hello everyone, hope you have a good day. Hey, Mobel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, Smeagol as well, good to see you again. Um, okay, so it's one physical in, one physical out. We could maybe... Can't actually do it like that, unless I... What if we move this over a little bit? It's not going to... if these are going to connect up, it's not going to be the same every time. I'd really like to share this pipe, but it's going to be kind of ugly. We could just put this a little bit further away. Have something like this. And uh, we could do the output here, I guess. Have those meet up over here. It's 
That way the inputs and the outputs are on the same side. All right, blank data card and nothing else. Oh, there it is. Nice and easy. And bio sludge. Pretty sure we can fit those together with undergrounds. Nice. Okay. Don't know how many of these we're actually going to need. And... Where does the bio sludge loop begin? Bio sludge. We're not making it out of methane. Uh, biomass and cosmic water. That might have been it. Okay. Made in a biochemical facility. Bio sludge from fish. Oil. Oh, experimental biomass. Vitalic acid. Don't think we're doing that one. Okay, no. I'm pretty sure it's bio sludge from biomass. And the biomass comes from bioculture and nutrient gel. We also need biomass for this thing, and I think for this as well. So hopefully we can fit it up this way somewhere. Bioculture and nutrient gel. That's bioculture. This also requires nutrient vat. I think it's this thing that makes the gel. Yep. And that requires bio sludge. Both of them require bio sludge. But I think this was part of the loop. Uh, let's see. That's coming from the main bus. Same with that and that. We need nutrient vat. Which is made in another one of these. Uh, nutrient vat. Glass and iron. Okay. Glass. Wait. Yep. And iron. It's probably going to be faster than that. Actually, not very fast at all. And this one requires coal. And nothing else physical. I think there's one other building uh, in this whole thing that requires a uh, nutrient gel. Oh, it's right here. Perfect. Uh, so this also requires spice and genetic data and bio sludge. I think we're already bringing spice in, right? Yeah, there it is. And we maybe put those together. Something like that. Let's 
so we got nutrient vat, spice, and we need genetic data to come here. Which is going to be produced way over here. Hmm. I'm thinking this might be a sensible place to fit this stuff together. It depends how many of these things we're going to need. Or we could put those together in a different shape. So... Oops. Let's try and get a feel for how many uh, genetic data we're going to need. Although I have a feeling it's going to be hard to... 7.2 per second from one machine without speed modules. Genetic data... Where is my speed modules? There we go. Okay, so 21 per second. And just a couple of these machines should do the trick. Or two or three or four. Um, I forget which ones, but some of these machines also spit out genetic data as like a side effect or something. Genetic data. Nothing there. Nope. Hey, so JMO. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, maybe it was this one. So it consumes 10 and spits out 9. So really it's consuming 1. We can't Productivity yet, yeah. Um, this might have been the little loop of genetic data that I had that I was trying to remember. How's the Combinator magic going? Uh, not so much Combinator magic today, since we're designing uh, space science. At least, I'm not foreseeing any just yet. Although I was thinking about doing a uh a teaching stream again for the combinator stuff have a whole bunch of examples set up in editor mode to start with and take requests and stuff like that uh let's see this thing i haven't done the pipe outputs oh yes i have for these ones that's fine we're going to need to convert these fluids back. Um, this can do. This deals with contaminated scrap, contaminated cosmic water, and okay. Since these two fluid handling ones spit out con. Terminated scrap. I think we're going to have to have all three of these together. Even if the ratio is not going to be all that. It's either that or pipe this stuff all the way back up to the main processing area. Might make more sense. Um, so contaminated biosludge gets turned into 99% biosludge. Uh, this is going to be tricky. Because I kind of, I kind of need to build the whole thing to build the whole thing, if that makes sense. 
Where was the other building that uses this stuff? Nutrient gel and bioculture. It's going to be really difficult to fit this stuff together in a way that makes sense. Especially in a way that's sort of convenient for belts and stuff. Biomass needs to go here, and here, and... I thought there was somewhere else. Nope, no biomass over here. Biomass, biomass, biomass. Oh yeah, these two are already accessing that same belt. Okay. Maybe it doesn't make sense to try and build this stuff over this way. So it needs bioculture and nutrient gel. Nutrient gel. This thing requires that. And then the gel itself. Let's put those together. That should be okay. I think that's as far as that reaches, almost. That's fine. That fits pretty well. Okay. Bio sludge, I guess. It's going to be sort of a... I, I want to have sort of a central area for processing all the contaminated scrap, contaminated uh, water and uh, bio sludge and stuff. So... I guess for now... We just treat this as needing to be brought in externally. And the bio sludge needs to be spirited away. Or contaminated, that is. Only thing I don't like is if this is over here, then... This is going to be on the right side. A El Pancho. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess we could move this over a little bit. Put you over here. Does that really have to go there? We could maybe swap these around a bit. No, that doesn't work so well. Yeah, no. Okay. So I'll put some underground belts through here. Ten's Dungeon, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What you been playing today? That's weird. The shout out thing isn't working. Yo, welcome. Okay, uh, so we need some of the genetic data to come all the way back to this thing. And we need to I wonder if we can do this just with a splitter 
if we put this here, that goes there. Whoops. Uh, filter it away from the right side. Input priority on the right. So this has input priority. Is that going to be good enough to make sure this loop actually works? If not, we'll just have to use a couple more inserters and some chests. Okay. Uh, are we going to need more than one of these machines? Let's try and figure it out. This is only 1.3 per second. I suspect that's not enough. We need 12.48 biomass per second. Okay. So 10 of these, maybe nine, 10. That's gonna complicate things a little bit. What's the ratio between these two? Um, what are you consuming? Bioculture. This is making bioculture. We're making way more bioculture than we need. Almost 20 times as much. Okay. So we're going to need 10 of these. I don't like how that's shaping up for how the pipes are going to look if I make them face each other. Can't do it that way either. They're going to have to be a tile apart. That's unfortunate. So, I guess we'll just copy paste this out like so. That is going to take up so much space. Alright, let's see if we can make them face each other and not have too horrifying of a mess with the pipes for output. We could do one of the output pipes down the middle like this and the other one outputs on the sides although if we do that we'll probably have to separate these a little bit more so oh that's even worse if we do it like that they'll be the same no, nope, this one won't be the same. I'm not a fan of this. What if we do bio sludge in this side? Nope. Uh, what if we move it another tile apart? I really don't like the way this recipe rotates. Hey, Mind Mousecraft. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think we're going to have to put these a bit further apart. And have separate pipes for these two, like so. Can we make those line up at least? I'm confused. Uh, it's going to have to be little baby pipes, I think. Yes, we could put a 3B in the middle. So if that goes there... And that 
because that doesn't work. Hmm. Let's get rid of the threes to simplify this for now. Doesn't really help very much. Okay, that's better. Like that. Is that something we can repeat? And we have the outside for these things. Okay, that could work. Now let's tidy, tidy it up a little bit. Uh, what about the input, the physical inputs and outputs? Output is biomass, input is bioculture. What about the volume? It is considerably... Oh, it's one to one. And it's considerably less than a blue belt. Oh, we need ten of these, though, don't we? Uh, that's not what we're looking for. I think that's right. Okay. We could do a belt down the middle for either input or output. And I guess we could put the inputs coming in from the outside. I don't really like the way that lines up. Let's just put all those in the middle. And for outputs, uh, we could maybe do it like this. Where's my belt? Oops. Oh, my... I'm outside of the RoboPort range. Let's put down another RoboPort, shall we? Much better. Alright. So the belt for... That's interesting. I thought that would figure out how to automatically do an underground belt. I feel like this looks a little bit better. That should do it. The inserter arm's going to be able to keep up, right? 1.3 per second. Easy. So total from this is 13 biomass per second. And we're needing 12.48. That's pretty good. Um, the other input we need for this is bioculture. 13 bioculture per second. This makes 20. That's pretty good. 
Um, and we do need... Uh, genetic data. I should have kept that little thing that I made. But it's not hard to make again. Input priority left. Output this side only. And do it like that. We also have to deal with junk data. There's already a belt up here dealing with it, so I guess we'll make it go that way. Maybe I'll make it go through there, but for now I just want to figure out where everything goes. Oh, need a filter out for the junk. And... Oh, that's a problem. I guess I'll have to do it like this. Bio... What is this called? Genetic data. Genetic data. And finally, the thing we're actually trying to make here, bioculture. Is... Excuse me. Uh, is gonna go to here. And so on. This thing makes the nutrient vats. The nutrient vats go here, and I think nowhere else. Uh, this is gel. Okay. Can we maybe squeeze this in somewhere like here? Glass and iron. How is this going to fit? Not very well. I would love to limit the profile of what's going to have to come in from the main bus like this. But it might not be so doable. Uh, I can't get a pipe through this, can I? Nope. I think the trick will be to move this thing a little bit. Um, need some pipe. And that's going to be a problem. Not quite. Oh, if I do it like this, we can't direct insert. Okay. Let's also get our nutrient gel up here. And I don't suppose I can fit... Why does that... Oh, I see. Five, six, seven, eight. I could do a niner. 
That's not going to connect to the sides here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So that's nutrient gel. Going to need a couple of main bus belts coming in this way as well. Spice is going to have to come in here also. Oh, we've kind of gotten in the way of this spice here. So why don't we bring this over here. This also requires spice. So why don't I just move this over a bit. Alright, we've got our spice, we've got our nutrient fats, and we've got our genetic data. And we need bio sludge. That can move up a tile. Uh, so this one needs glass and iron plate. How fast does it need it? Very slow. Spice is 10 per second. We're going to need at least one stack inserter. Probably two. Since it's taking off a belt. Genetic data is... 20 per second. That's a lot. Um, I think we can get rid of the output priority on this one. And we'll have at least a couple of stack inserters. This should probably... It's outputting 20 genetic data per second. We might even need a couple of stack filters to do this. 20 is less than half a belt, so we don't have to worry about that part. Uh, coal is going in here. The rest of those inputs are fluids. I don't mind the way that part looks. And then... We can definitely move this stuff a bit closer together. Um, blank data card and biomass. Oh, biomass comes from here. So... Blank data cards up here. We're already bringing blank data cards in this way. I need to figure out how many blank data cards we need in total. Per second, that is. 51! Uh, okay. Um, I hope I wasn't muted just there, but 51 blank data cards per second. That's more than one blue, uh, more than one space belt. However, uh, we get 8.5 of it from over here. 
Therefore, we actually can just bring one belt in for blank data cards to support all of this. So that is going over there. Um, how many? I think it's one, two belts that we need the uh, biomass on. Okay, so biomass goes here, blank data card goes here, and I heard gasp 51, you might need it. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, probably it's going to be the other way around with the blank data cards and biomass here, although I could maybe merge them this way. Um, I haven't really left room. This needs to go... Instead of using a splitter here, let's just bring this around this way. Or I could even slide it through here somewhere. This is fine. Uh, I could probably change the shape of this though. What's the output? Uh, 20 per second. Probably need a stack filter inserter or two to support that. And then... There wouldn't be a good spot to put a substation here, would there? Well, maybe. Almost. Okay, let's not worry too much about the aesthetics for now. The important thing is that goes there. Uh, that goes there. I almost forgot about this thing. That's kind of important. Oh, that's good. That reaches across, at least. I don't want to leave substations to be the final thought this time. Wait, why are those further... They're not... Alright. What's that on the ground? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Like, up oh, there it is. One of these belts right here. And we need to bring that through as well. That goes all the way over there. There's no way I could take the blanks from this. And, no. Okay, so that is... Oh, that's the same. Biomass and blank data card. 
Okay. But I'm pretty sure we need more than one belt, right? More than half a belt for each. Uh, let's just measure that. Blank data card is actually only 9.6 per second. Where is the consumption? Oh, it's almost all here. Well, that works. Um, so 9.62 and 12. Oh yeah, we can definitely fit this all in one belt. So all we have to do is this and this. That's a different belt. Whoops. I don't like it sticking out like that anyway. Let's do it like this. And I think that might be it. Um, I do need to get the blank data cards back from here over to here. But that's something we can save for later. I think it'll be fine if we just merge it in here. Let's see. Biomass, that's what we've... This is bio... This is biomass. And this requires biomass and cosmic water. Bio sludge from biomass. Contaminated scrap and bio sludge. Uh, really not sure where to fit this part together. Biomass is on this belt. Oh, how much does it use? Only one per second. Uh, we're currently producing 13 per second and consuming 12 point something. This would push it over the edge. We need more of this. It's hard to ratio things when you have to do a loop because you're basically going to have to build it and then check the ratio and then realize this part needs more and then maybe that has a knock-on effect where another part of the loop needs more. Uh, how fast will this make bio sludge? 30 per second. I seem to remember that once you get that going, uh, you really don't need that much bio sludge. Sludge? But Five hundred thirty-six per second. Okay, that's um, that's maybe not what we're looking for. What? Wait, what is producing bio sludge there? This thing uses sixteen. This uses a hundred and four. Oh, but we're probably over ratioing it. This would require 13 biocultures per second, and this could do 20. Let's take some speed modules out of this just to assist with the calculation. 14.4, 11.2 out of 13. Let's try a Mark II. 13.6. Hey, Veldek. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so how much biomass does this, uh, bio sludge does this need? 68 per second. Uh, does this consume any? Nope. What about this? 
104 each. And I know we're overproducing the genetic data. Planning for bioscience? Yeah, it's pretty difficult. Because, of, well, it's pretty difficult to ratio because of the loop. Um, uh, so how much genetic data do we actually need? 12.2... Oh, sorry, 13... About 13 or maybe 13... Oh, it's literally 13 because this is 13.6. Um, yeah. So this consumes 13 bioculture per second. This makes 13.6, consumes 13.6, okay. Why does it... Oh, uh, that's not the actual rate. Okay, yeah. There's a setting someone mentioned. I need the net... Oh, it's not the a setting, it's the net amount. Okay, this actually only needs 1.3, if that, genetic data per second. Uh, this, I think, uses genetic data. Yep. 2.7 per second. So, one of these should actually be overkill, right? That's why I like SE, <laughs> yeah. It sounds like just one genetics facility is going to be overkill. Um, 2.7 plus 1.36 per second. We're, look we're probably looking at four per second, uh, given the rough estimate over there. So this is still too much, and it's only consuming 56 biosludge. Um, so we're definitely only going to need one of these machines. That also means we're not going to struggle with uh, blank data cards at all. Um, now that we know the shape of this, I think we could probably put this next to this thing and send the, uh, send the genetic data that's left over this way. And I guess we can get rid of all of these small pipes. Make it a bit neater again. If I can remember how that fit together. Oh, I think we copied this. No? Yes? No? Maybe? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I don't suppose we could put this right next to those. Oops. Bio sludge in, bio sludge in. Okay. Unfortunate lack of symmetry. No beacons? Uh, we can only do tier one beacons, so I'm not going to bother with them. Oh, wait, no, we. We can't do beacons in space because we've only got tier 1 beacons, is what I meant. Okay, so this maybe goes over here. What does this consume? Only 5.6 per second. One stack inserter. Is probably sufficient. 
I need to connect. I think this is contaminated cosmic water. Yes. Okay. That's really unfortunate. Let's just do it like that. Oops. Actually, let's see what we can fit over here. Cool. Hey, I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Haima Wang as well. Good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so this is easily going to make enough genetic data. Um, sorry, this is net 1.3 per second. This gives us 5.6. And this is only 2.7. Okay, cool. And then... I need the output from that to go over here. That's going to be on the southern end. Maybe I could move this down a tile. That wouldn't line up very well. No, I think I'll leave that as is. Um, just have to swap the sides of the belt with this one. Oh, that's wrong. Output on the right. Actually, why am I using a splitter for that? Let's just do it that way. Okay. So genetic data also needs to go here. That should be fine. I don't think we're going to get our priority with that. Hmm. Instead of using a splitter in this case, I was going to say we could count on the side of the belt to prioritize it, but that's going to be exactly the wrong side. Hmm. We could also just... No. What's the best way to do this here? So we want the genetic data that this thing spits out to be priority consumed by it. We can count on inserters taking from the near side of the belt first. And I don't love the look of that, but other than that, that'll do it. Good midday to you, hacks and chat. Hey, Majagus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, not exactly midday for me, but. I'll take it. So yeah, that... That'll also mean that there should always be room to output to this side of the belt. Which is going to be the priority to consume. That's fine. Okay. Is that actually... 
Are we actually getting there? And is it possible we could move this around a bit so we don't have these things stick out so much? I guess it doesn't really matter. Actually building an orbit today, maybe? Uh, we have one more type of science after this one, so probably not. Um, it's a bit unfortunate. I was going to start doing long streams again today, but something came up. Uh, but definitely tomorrow. Okay, I think we need to try getting this in motion. Um, I think I'll copy-paste this thing for now. And we'll use some void pipes and stuff. That's confusing. What is that even? Let's see, this deals with contaminated scrap. The fluid things are on the side because both of them insert into here. This deals with contaminated cosmic water, bio sludge. Input is contaminated scrap. Okay. Does anything up here, I think there is at least one thing that makes contaminated scrap. Nope. What about over here? Okay. So this makes junk data cards. Those are going somewhere else. This doesn't make... This only makes fluid waste. This only makes fluid waste. This only makes fluid waste. This... Doesn't do either of those things. Junk data. Okay, so there's no need for an input for contaminated scrap. We will need to get rid of a little bit of scrap. And... Contaminated bio sludge. This this right here is the main reason that I don't want to just use void pipes to test what we've got so far, because we have to have a bit of a loop turning the contaminated bio sludge back into bio sludge. So this thing right here is what we need. I guess I'll move that over a little bit. And connect that up like so. Let's get some power. VOD then, I guess. Damn it, going out of town tomorrow. To have a look at my Harley. Sounds fun. And yeah, it'll definitely be on the VOD. I do need to put some VODs from Twitch onto YouTube. i got to remember that. I hope I don't miss the window for any of those. Um, Alright, let's start putting some power in. I think it's about time to just connect everything up and find out what's missing. Buying a new one? Exciting. Oh, that's unfortunate. Guess we need to Put some substations way down here. Okay. So I think we have to give this just a bit of bio sludge. Let's just give it a hundred and see if that's enough to get it started. Let's 
see, we got ourselves some contaminated cosmic water. Uh, we're gonna have to connect that to... This thing. And contaminated... Bio sludge needs to come back here as well. And that is this pipe right here. Um, I guess I'll just make it go around this way. Whoops. Alright. I'm guessing I didn't put enough bio sludge in to get the whole thing started. Um, there's 32 bio sludge here. Products finished, zero, six. Okay, that was definitely not enough. Um, but I'm thinking it's probably a pretty small amount that's required to get it all going. Alright, so now we've got... I forgot to bring bio slide, the other fluid inputs to these things. Also, nutrient gel has to go here as well, that's already good. So we just need chemical gel, bio sludge, and cosmic water. Uh, these two we're just going to get from somewhere else. So no need to worry too much about planning those for now. Bio sludge. Over here. And I guess that wasn't enough either. Uh, why are we not getting any bio sludge up this way? Is it all getting consumed by this? I mean, we're getting an infinite amount through here. 124 per second, that shouldn't be an issue. Why is... oh, that's too long. Okay. I think we probably have enough for a loop now. If indeed the loop will work. Start a mine with contaminated bio sludge, which I accumulated while making other sciences. Yeah, that's what happened with uh, material science for our first build. But if not, we can always make bio sludge with fish. Right. So we should see. Yep, there we go. Contaminated bio sludge is slowly filling up here. Uh, could probably speed this up. It's. Is it gonna keep up? Let's see. 40 nutrient gel per second versus 150. I think we're going to need more than one machine to keep up. Especially after, if we put speed modules in this thing. This is nutrient fats. Wait, nutrient fats literally only go in here, right? We're only making two. That's a problem. Alright, let's just see what this looks like. 
Um, so I think I calculated this was pretty close to supporting this. 13 biocultures per second, 13.6, requires 13.6 nutrient vats. We need three of these. Okay, and if we need three of those, then we need... Uh, Thirteen point six thirteen nutrient backs per second. Let's see. Uh we need a hundred and forty nutrient gel per second. And for that we're gonna need two of these machines. Okay. Two of these, three of these. And and what? If we only need two of these, we could put them next to each other, but I would kind of like the underground pipes to line up. And then that'll already be fine. Might have to move this belt. Why does it take longer to pick those up? Um, so that doesn't go there anymore. Ball is the only physical input for this stuff. Please get out of my inventory. Thank you. Spice needs to go to here. I think it would be better if this was shaped a little differently. I'm gonna need three of these. Let's just delete all that. It's starting to confuse me. I forgot to copy paste what recipe that was. Uh, Bioculture, there we go. And was that the 13 per second? Yep. Okay. Where is this going? Oh, that's the junk data. That's definitely the last thing, and it's connected to the wrong belt. I'll worry about that later. So this is the one that needs the spice. Um, I guess we probably can... Have this go up here. Not sure what that's actually going to look like.
but we need three. I don't suppose I could get three of these just facing. No. Gonna need a belt for that. So let's see if we can line this up all nice and clean. On the plus side, the output or genetic data can just go straight onto a side of this belt. I forgot to leave room for the priority input um, for this part. I could just do it like this and... If that part of the belt is empty, then you're allowed to direct insert. I don't know. That might not be good enough. Let's move this over a bit. And... Oh, I know. We don't need any particularly fancy bits of... belt. put that a bit further down. So this will put on this side of the belt, which will be a low priority to pick up. This will put on this side of the belt, which is closer to these inserters, and it'll be a higher priority. Cool. Move this down a smidge so that there's room for pipes. I would like these pipes to line up if I can. And one more of these. Be gone. Okay, how much does this consume? Very little. One belt will be more than enough. Just trying to think where to put this exactly. That would make it as neat as possible. I'm going to need these pipes to have boats. That's not good enough. Uh, let's get rid of this for a moment. Just like that. I think I like that a little bit better. Okay. And... Seven... Wait, what? Something is wrong here. Water goes there. That goes there, that goes there. That's a nine. Therefore, this is nine. And this. Cool. 
two coal per second. We could definitely use a long arm inserter if we want to. And I think we'll move these back a bit so we don't get in the other in the way of the other belts. Oops, that's fine. Oh, and there's one more, which the substations are going to block. It's only this one that needs the blank data cards. 5.6 per second. Does that push the whole thing down to... 15 per second? That's less than half a belt. Okay. I think we could actually probably... Just take from this belt. which means we can have a cleaner input for this over here. Uh, let's remove that all together for the moment. So... Going back to the original shape. That's not blank data cards. So blank data cards come in this way, merge down here, and let's just empty out this belt so we can see what's what. These are big builds, how long are they supposed to last? Um, they are intended to get us through all of the sciences that just require tier one of the space sciences. Okay, looks like that's been resolved. So let's just double check once more. Uh, blank data cards, we are only needing less than half a belt. Fantastic. Okay. And this requires spice. Convenient enough. I guess we could have spice go in up there. No reason for it to squeeze through this bit. And that just leaves the iron and glass. Okay. I think I would rather have these line up like so, actually. Whoops. So iron and glass goes in there, and... This connects up like so. I'll just put that on the side of those. Okay, so that is nutrient gel in. Uh, we need the output for the vats itself. 5.2 per second per machine. So you'll rebuild with beacons and pylons later. Yeah, we'll be going to a rail-based build later on.
Alright. I imagine one stacking soda will be enough for each of these, but there's plenty of room if I'm wrong. And... Oops. This goes here. And how much does this consume? 13 per second. That should be it. Alright, I think it's... Uh... Almost time to test this thing again. Can we get some power? A little bit sad that doesn't quite reach up there. Oh, that's fine. And of course, one inserter is not getting what it needs. Can I just put that there? What are we missing? Chemical gel, bio sludge, and cosmic water. I'll just put those here. Oh, whoops. I'll just put those here for now. Except for the bio sludge. That is part of the loop. And we need bio sludge to go into these two. Okay. I think it's simpler at this point to just connect some stuff up. Uh, what the? Why is there cosmic water in here? Because that's cosmic water. Whoops. Middle one is bio sludge. Okay. Looks like we've used up what bio sludge we had. Is that just on the wrong side now? E yeah, it is. Whoops. Okay. Where's the spice? I'll take that. And it's trying to output bioculture, which is lungs on this belt here. 
Wait, how fast is this going? 13. So we're going to need a couple of stacks, I think. Wait, nope, 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 nope. Bioculture. Culture goes here. Genetic data goes here. And not here. And the junk data goes out this uh, this way. Does that go where I think it goes? Yes. Okay. Genetic data. Biomass. Biomechanical data. A Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, thank you. Alright. Are we stuck? Or is it just taking its time getting going? We have bio sludge. I need the um uh contaminated cosmic water to connect over here. Which also should connect here. I wonder if... Hmm. I don't think there's a particularly clean way to do the pipes here. I could get this contaminated cosmic water down this way. What the? No, no, no. What are you building at the moment? Uh, trying to get the loop going for Bioscience, Tier 1. We've just about finished building it, it's just uh, fixing and tweaking it at this point, I think. It's kind of hard to know where it's broken, though. Uh, contaminated cosmic wall. Oh, I don't actually have an output for this yet. Can I rotate it this way? Yes, good. That's decent. Alright, how full is this? Half full. Contaminated cosmic... Wait, what? Oh. And then that goes in here. We're full on cosmic water. Are we? Yeah. We're full on cosmic water here. Why is that? Um, so yeah, normally this cosmic water get recycled back into the main system, so I guess a void pipe here is okay for testing purposes. Do 
Does that mean this thing's working again? Nope. I think we just need more bio sludge. Yeah. Bio sludge. The priority consumption for the genetic data that came out of this machine is working. That's good. Uh, yeah, void pipes. Are, it's technically not a void pipe, but um, it's called an infinity pipe. You can set it to create and or destroy fluids. Um, so you can set it to at least, at most, exactly add this percentage of fluid to the pipe on every tick. I've never used that before. So typically for things like, well, a lot of the fluids in... Uh, space exploration. Uh, you want to limit production so you don't completely fill the pipes so that you have room for side effects like output fluids. So I might set this to exactly 50% for example. Um, but yeah, is this working now? Are we looping? Uh, let's see. We've got a decent amount of contaminated cosmic water. It's not getting over here. I thought those were connected. They are not. Okay. So we need um, this to go over here, I think. Oh, I thought there was room there. Hmm. Maybe like this. And we could just connect those directly. That's a good fit. And that is not. Keep running out. Space pipe goes here. Ended up with a, not a whole lot of extra space in between these things. Okay, so that's draining out. This is turning it back into cosmic water and not a whole lot of contaminated bio sludge. Contaminated bio sludge is getting piped back to these two. Um, do I just need more bio sludge to get the loop going, or have I not got enough? Like. Have I actually got not got it set up to be a positive loop? Will you get the resources later on, or will you use the editor thing for it? Oh no, this is... Uh, we'll, we'll be using... We'll be actually getting the resources together to build this stuff in the game. Okay. So we've got 8.2k bio sludge in this pipe network right here. Um, it seems to be dropping very rapidly. Very, very rapidly, with showing no signs of bouncing back. But... 
It might be because we're producing genetic data way faster than we need to for now. And this belt as well. A lot of bio sludge getting turned into this stuff, so until that belt is saturated. I wonder if there's something I can do to make it so that we don't have to saturate these things in order to make sure that feedback loop happens. For now, I think I would like to just make absolutely sure that we are actually getting a positive feedback loop. It only took one of each building to do it before, so I'm pretty sure it's not that I've forgotten something. Like, if we can make the final product, which we're not doing just yet, should probably connect these belts up. One and two. That's a little bit unfortunate. No, that's fine. This part, though. Now we need the coolant. I'd actually forgotten about coolant. None of this stuff uses it. This is a perfect example, actually, of where you would want to uh, use that 50% thing. Let's make sure these are all connected to the same spot. Um, I don't want to connect this and this pipe. I guess we can just do that here. Whoops. Nope. Okay. So, negative 100 demo fluid, exactly 50%. I don't think we have to worry about that for the input one, but more for the output. Thermo, uh, thermo fluid 25 degrees, exactly 50%. And there goes our not quite final product. I also want to see if I can figure out a nicer spot to bring that belt back. Gonna need a merge right about here. And priority input from this side. I could almost see myself sliding that in through here, actually. But the pipe doesn't quite want to cooperate anyway. What, what is going on here? Biomatter looks stuck. 
Uh, well, yes, definitely. What happened here? I think that is supposed to go like that. Yep, there we go. And that gives us everything except for the Vitamelange extract. Isn't that made directly out of spice? I was going to say maybe I could just turn the spice straight into the extract, but I'm pretty sure I already... Oh. Does it require space assembly specifically? Wait, how do you make extract? Chemical plant or biochemical facility? Okay. If I wanted to save uh, having an extra belt coming all the way here from the main bus and having an extra rocket and so on, um, I guess I could process the spice into extract right here. It would sacrifice some productivity bonuses, but more importantly... Um, I'm pretty sure I already am making the spice on planet. There isn't really a good spot to belt this, it looks like. I guess we'll just do it along the top. What the? Why would it do it like that? No wonder that little mistake showed up. Okay. Nope. Spice. Wait, that's not supposed to be spice. Extract. Okay. How quickly does it consume the extract? 6.6 .6 per second. And why are we not getting catalogs? Because we're not getting biocombustion data. Because we're not dealing with the junk data cards. I wonder if... Maybe do it like this. So many belts going back and forth. Where's my... there it is. Uh, stack. Oh, I don't think we're going to need a stack for this. Two per second, that's surprisingly fast. Filter inserter... Junk data card and voila. Wait, was that 
I thought that was tier two for a second there. Okay, so I thought we had everything in place to at least get this working if we're cheating bio uh, fluid, but maybe not. Bio sludge, that is. What is going on here? Oh, that's actually the same product. It just looks different vertically. Fair enough. So, once that backs up, we should get catalogs all the way to the end of this. It's going to take a little moment for that to happen, though. What? Oh, my inventory's full. Should be fine. And final product. Now the question is Does our bio sludge loop work or does it drain out? Um, it seems to be staying full. Let's just delete these. Actually, I'll, I'll just delete one of the tanks and then... I'll get it low, but not terribly low. So we've got 20k in the whole system. And pretty soon we should see if we're gaining or losing bio sludge. So why is it all stopped for the moment? Biocultures have finished. I don't see these machines in motion. There's no biomass. There's no biomass because we've got contaminated bio sludge is full. Um, is this, this is contaminated bio sludge. Oh, this doesn't go anywhere? Yep. Okay. But I think this one does. Yeah, we need it. We need these to connect somehow. That might be a problem without moving this. I hope I'm not going to have to move all of these machines over one tile, but it's looking pretty likely for the moment. Speed up the game speed? Uh, I don't know if that'll be necessary or not, but we can. What do you think would be ratio of time to design the science subfactory versus subfactory runtime to make all the science? I have no idea. I really don't know the scale of how much we're going to end up needing. The only way to get a feel for that is to either go through the game or... Uh, like, literally just sit down and do all the math. And of course then you're working with a very rough estimate as to how long you're going to take to design it. Oh, I know. Uh, why don't we take advantage of this? Substation's going to be a bit of a nuisance here. Uh, we can put one up here instead. And a small one. And then... Given that all of these machines are moving all of a sudden, I think this is probably what we needed to do. 
don't know where these pipes are going, but that'll be quite helpful actually. Get rid of this one. And this one. And these. Okay. So we're going to go through here. And that'll do it. I think I like the look of this a little bit better. Cool, that might be it. And we're going to be able to get a feel for whether this thing is big enough to handle it as well. Contaminated bio sludge is trickling in. All right, how low are we on? We're down to nine point seven thousand. Nine thousand. Uh. Eight thousand. I think we're going to find out pretty soon if this thing is self-perpetuating. It won't matter how many machines of each type I have, whether the loop works, right? It's just going to... it's just going to bottleneck the loop. Or, I mean, the fact that we've got so much belt room for genetic data cards, for example, and um, biocultures definitely means we need a significant amount to get started, but... Uh, the question is if this whole thing will net produce biosludge. Considering that these are still full of biosludge, we're down to 1.8k though. Why have, why have we stopped? Contaminated biosludge. Okay. Goes all the way over here. And it's not full, is it? Oh, it is full. Um, I don't think contaminated biosludge is getting back here. Is that what goes in here? Yeah. Yeah, that... It would probably help if this pipe went anywhere. So let's get... Where's the best place to connect these? We could maybe do the same thing over here. Also, I feel like... Uh, 9 would be better here, wouldn't it? Okay. I don't know where we're going to put this stuff ultimately, but we're going to keep up with this build as it is for testing reasons. Okay, if that gets the whole system going... Hey, Rosa. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And if we start seeing biomass climbing... I think... I think we are seeing biomass climbing. Does that mean it's eventually going to bottleneck on just being full on biomass? I mean, biosludge. Like, if so, how do we deal with that? Just ludicrous forever storage? Delete fluids sometimes? 
Oh, we're actually... Tell me we're decreasing contaminated biosludge. Uh, hard to say. Yup. So it's going to bottleneck eventually on... Or is it actually going to stop eventually because we're full of biomass? Uh, bio sludge? Ah, uh, bio sludge. Bioscience is complicated. In any case, I think we're basically done. I'm guessing there's something we can use as a sink for bio sludge. Um... Let's see. Bio sludge. We can. What? Bio sludge from biomass. No, thank you. Uh, no, we need to get rid of the bio sludge. Uh, we're already doing that. Bloat burst ammo. That extract experimental genetic data I don't know how to make. Experimental but so this is part of an even more difficult science. Genetic I think we're already doing that. Uh nutrient gel we're already doing. SE doesn't have many pure sinks. Wire, pump, and tank don't run the loop when the system is greater than whatever. Yeah, but I want to keep the loop going. Plague rocket. Yikes. Extinguish all life on a planet. That's pretty rude. Not what I'm looking for either. Well, technically, if we really want to, we could put it in barrels and destroy it with cannons. But yeah, I'm guessing... Uh, if we want to do it semi-automatic, it's probably going to take a long time to fill up a number of storage tanks, right? So... We can always just manually delete the fluid. In any case, that is bioscience complete. Uh, next is... What I fear may be even more difficult. I, at least, I have no idea what this is going to look like. I haven't started it yet. Energy Science Pack 1. Well, that is... There we go. So, we'll do what we usually do and start from the end. I guess I won't be terribly surprised if the last part has the same shape as these ones. We've done this, we've done this, and this, and this. I don't know how soon we can make deep space science packs, uh, but definitely I'm guessing energy science pack one, it's not going to be too long before we're doing that. Starting to see a pattern? Nah, never. Um, okay, so it requires catalog, insight, significant data, and another resource. Uh, let's copy this for starters. 
and suppose we just change these recipes. Where is it? Energy simulation. And the ratio is probably going to be different. Hold on, which one was that? Number one. And energy catalog. Okay. So let's see. That's, uh... That's actually exactly the same as bio, I think. 4.8 versus... Uh, 0.48 versus... 333 recurring. Let's just do this and see if the colors change and the numbers stay the same. Oh yeah. That's plain as day. Cool. And that part was pretty easy. Finished all research for tier 4 sciences. Next science is deep space. Wait, so so you don't do like deep space 1 before... You got like tier 4 everything else before you do deep space at all? Having to start mining Naquium. Been procrastinating it for a day. Okay. Uh, well, on the plus side, we've got this part done already. Now we just have to figure out how we make conductivity data, electromagnetic field data, polarization data, and radiation data. So let's see, conductivity. Requires holmium and some stuff that we know how to make, and it's made in an electromagnetics facility. Um, no prods. Oh. I think I just saw that all four of these recipes are made in electromagnetic force field data. Okay, that's not what we're looking for. Conductivity, field, polarization, radiation. Conductivity, field... Yeah, no. Requires two fluid inputs as well. That could be a problem. Also, I don't necessarily know how to make ion stream, but I think it's just one simple step away from uh, this stuff that we're already making. Hey, King Fnub. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, these two... What's the rate for these individually? Chuck some speed modules in. 0 0.5, 1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Okay. So we can definitely just have a couple of belts coming in for this stuff. Um, EC, copper, holmium plate, and blank. And I think... I think we can probably... put these together like so, so that those pipes can maybe connect up relatively easily. Uh, how many outputs do we have? We gotta deal with contaminated scrap. Which means... Is there any overlap between the inputs? Just blank data card. Although this thing only requires one physical input, so... 
if we're lucky, we could probably fit all of the inputs on the inside, which means... Damn it, we have to do filtered outputs. Okay. I'm impressed how SE mod page looks like. There's also schema for sciences. Scroll about two to three pages down. Let's see. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, this was not just slapped together. Wow. That is a base. Okay. Every time I watch someone who's a ways into SE, I question anyone's sanity who plays it. You know what they say about sanity. Um, so I'm thinking... Hmm. We'll probably do the... squiggly filtered outputs again. So the actual product... Well, if possible, I would like the outputs to meet in the middle like this, but it's not really necessary. Where the data at? Conductivity data. Can we get rid of this flashing? Everything is purple. Contaminated scrap. And belt for output. How should I go about this? That's gonna look a bit weird. How about this? I think that's what I've done before anyway. Whoops. Future developments coming. Space elevator. Space capsule hop system. Hop system? Spaceship improvements. More equipment. More turrets. I like the idea of more turrets. There could definitely be a bit more variety there compared to the vanilla game. Larger item and fluid containers, balance updates, hostile, hostile robot faction. Scary. I think that goes there. This doesn't reach all the way, does it? Oh, it does. Silly me. And we'll probably have something similar here. Obviously... Oh, that actually fits perfectly. And... I'm going to take a wild guess and suppose that we're going to have a similar output over here. Junk data card. I 
imagine how easy this would be if I just used bots. Uh, okay. Inputs are blank data card. These four things. That's what I wanted to check. Uh, let's see if... Let's see how the ratios look. So... For... We need 2.7 per second for each thing. That requires... Looks like 11. Of these. I don't love doing an odd number. But what can you do? Actually, can I just copy the most tileable part of this? Okay. Let's just check that one is going to be enough. Why is it only... Oh, there it is. 2.86 versus 2.6. Okay. And then... Probably need 11 of these, I'm guessing. Oh, exactly 11. Well, very, very close to exactly. Okay, now can we support all of these with half belts of each resource? Uh, these ones... Oh, it's looking promising. Copper is the biggest one and that's way less than half a belt. Uh, as for blank data cards between all of them, we're only looking at 5.7 per second. Um... I think we need to put these a bit closer together. And do it like this. Don't need long arms on this side. Space elevators so you don't have to rocket everything up. Yeah, that sounds like a really nice uh, endgame-ish kind of luxury. Okay, this goes here, and here, and so on. So we're definitely putting blank data cards on one of the halves of the belt down here. The other three are going to be electronic circuit, copper plate, and holmium plate. And we need holmium plate all the way back here as well, but 6.66666 per second. So far, the whole thing only needs um, 9.5 per second. If we're lucky, we can hijack that half a belt of Holmium plate to take it all the way through. I don't think substations will reach to the outside. They actually do, but... I guess we could put them together like this. I don't love that. No. Let's just put subs on the outside. And like so. Oh, then there's no power in the middle, is there? 
Uh, rip. Okay, fine. Substation. Yeah, definitely doesn't reach past there. Wait, I forgot to double them up. Okay, that's pretty neat anyway. So we need uh, ion stream coming into here. Oh. I forgot. I did say that second fluid input was going to be a problem. I should have seen this come. I, I mean, I kind of did see it coming, but then I forgot what I was doing for, for a little while there. Uh, this side, though, should be fine. We're just going to have to make more room to make this work. There goes a leg. Can I rotate this so that... No. No. This is a little upsetting. I don't suppose one of the other ones that we have to build are going to fall fall into place. Let's see, we need a laser facility and a radiation facility. Where did it go? Radiation facility. Laser facility. So I think there was some ground missing here somewhere. Okay, polarization data, and uh, radiation. We need uranium up here. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. So we do have something the exact same size, and we also have something the exact same size that needs... Mm, not quite the exact same stuff. Sometimes wish there was a reverse output function. Do you mean like to change where the pipes go? Also, blood sugar, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Yeah, I think these are going to have to be a bit further apart, unfortunately. Alright, let's just start from the beginning. If I'm going to have the fluids on the same sides... It's going to be a bit of a problem. What I really want is a cold, th cold thermofluid on this side, warm on this side, and the ion streams going in on the sides like this. I think I'm going to have to repeat this pattern again. This has two outputs and one fluid input. This What we're doing here is just the reverse of that. So yeah, it's going to have to be one extra tile apart. That's a little sad. Not only uranium is needed, I think it spits out some. 
Oh. 50% chance. Okay. Um, we can copy that later. So this goes... Yeah, we need the three Bs to connect these now. And... I kind of want... Um, wait, what? Oh. Get rid of the regular pipes. I guess we could connect this here. And then the rest of these will be connected. So we're going to have this one... Blank data cards still. We could still maybe take the blank data cards from here. We just have to have these a bit further apart. Uh. That's where that underground pipe came from that got copied, I think. Alright, how many is this? Eight. Nine, ten, eleven. That should be that. Um, I guess the, there's no, oh, yeah, there is, never mind. We're going to need some substations, every other one of these as well. Okay. And there's only one physical input. We've already got that. Uh, we don't need a filtered output for this one. I guess if this is going to fit here... Wait, no. This, this could be a tile closer. Although I was kind of thinking about having the output belt here. And there's more room for fluids over this way. Also, I could use a... Underground belt just like this to steal the whole meme away. Might be a neat way to do it. So that goes there, goes there, goes there. Um, this underground is a bit of a problem. Um, I guess... underground there. Cool. I heard the brain explode. Yes, indeed. Playing space exploration for a couple of days now. Welcome, Con B. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. 
And I have question, what are you doing with coal from core mining? For now I'm using it for rocket fuel, but still coal is my source of problems. I've got like five chests of rocket fuel. I hope it will reduce when I'll send out more rockets into space. Um, I actually built a system specifically to destroy resources eventually. Because when you're doing core mining, it spits out a specific ratio of stuff that is not going to coincide with your consumption. So you're either going to have to keep adding storage forever, or you're going to have to automate destruction of resources that you're producing way more of than you're consuming. Um, the way to do that is, well, unless you have some other mod that lets you convert or destroy resources, um, use the delivery cannon, aim it at a chest, destroy everything in the chest. <laughs> Destroying resources is wrong. Do you actually want me to keep building more chests until the end of time? And having to manually intervene with that always. Um, okay, so apart from Ion Stream, oops, which requires a particle. Really? I have to do this again? Particle Accelerator. Empty Iron Canister. No thanks. So this requires Copper Plate. Which we've got over there already. It also requires Plasma Stream. Um, I've already got Plasma Stream getting made up here, but I've already like strategically placed it between these two sciences, where it's going to produce for each of them. Um, I think we'll produce it locally down here as well. Just lazy? Yeah. Just do coal mining enough for slowest resources, supplement other from regular mining. But if I, if I get coal mining high enough to almost support everything, then it's all completely hands off. I can do whatever I like and not have to run around making more mines. Um, okay, how many of these do we need to support this? Uh, let's see. 26 versus 143. Uh, six of these. And I think we're going to need to do this. Should probably blueprint and repeat that. Snap to grid relative uh, width is nine. I think that's right. There we go, much easier. Don't need this though. And I th think we calculated that we need six of, whoops. Uh, six of what? Particle accelerator? Where is it? Maybe this would be easier, considering the game turns off cheats every two seconds. Slip second. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, you have to do a cheaty void of the coal. It's not cheating to shoot it with cannons. 
plastic needs some coal as well, so that's red chips that can be forever dumped into modules. Uh, where do I want to put these? Probably somewhere close to the middle, I guess. Oh, that lines up well. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh. That is beautiful. Just happens to perfectly line up with all of this. Okay, how much uh, plasma do we need? 156 per second. Oh, was it exactly 156? One, yeah, so we need 18 of these. That's a lot. I don't suppose these are going to line up. Nope. Does this have any physical input? Copper plate. Okay. If not for how short the underground belts are... Well, no, never mind. Um, I think we'll bring the copper plate in this way. Each of these needs only 0.26 per second. So I'm thinking maybe this entire thing can be supported on half a belt of copper plate. It can. Although, if we're if this is merged already, then it's kind of more of a problem. I think we'll just bring it in from another spot on the main bus, honestly. Pop the plate. Oh, wait, let's make this copper plate and stone. And we can probably just feed both of these. I think I said I needed 18 of these. Yeah. That's a lot. Also, it's facing the wrong way. Okay. This doesn't reach, does it? Nope. And if it's only 156 per second... Um, then we can definitely just have it connect up here. Why is that not... I think these ones can fit with just little pipes. Okay. So we need uh, another 14 of these. That's a lot. I kind of want to... I kind of want to put these together like so. And we'll just put some more stone around the other side. Did you look at the power required by those particle accelerators? I'm scared. Oh. Oh. It's the drug time, but for megawatts. That, that's a lot. That is a lot. How much does a flat solar panel give us? 3.7 megawatts. And to reach 420... Wait. Oh, this says 400 kilowatts, even though this is actually 3.7 megawatts. Okay. And if I want the exact number, I need to steal that plus 832.524%. We're just going to call it 3.2 megawatts. Uh, 3.7, rather. 
113 or 114 flat solar panels each. That's a lot. That that is an amount. Um, I'd already decided to do this, but definitely, definitely, we will be not building like all of this for starters. We'll be turning RoboPorts off and building one of each machine, and we'll add to it as we go. Um, but yeah, that's a lot of power. I'm, hmm. I really might have to ship, okay, so we're already going to have to ship uranium up. I think we should probably do a nuclear space reactor. To be honest, I kind of want to take a break from designing this right now and see what that would look like. Where's a good spot to build it? Let's go north. That's beyond the limit of where we're going to build this uh, main bus base, I think. Okay. So... Let's get a rope pod in here. And away they go. That looks kind of cool. So, as opposed to steam turbines, we've got condenser turbines. Steam turbine... Consumes 60 per second, max temp 500. This can go to 900 degrees. Huh. Do I already have the technology to take advantage of 900 degrees? Using condenser turbines where I'm up to in my game, or... Also, what is with these extra inputs? So it consumes 60 per second. Fine. And this one can consume as much as 80 per second. 75% of the energy efficiency of a steam turbine. It says at 500 degrees we get 5.82 megawatts, and this one says 5.8. That's weird. 99% of the steam used is returned as water. That's the reason that we're going to use condenser turbines for this. Max water output, 79.2. So do I literally just build a regular old nuclear plant, but use condenser turbines? Solar only like this. A mass 420. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. I wouldn't mind building something like that. Nuclear or solar? Hey, hey. Can't chain those the regular way. The vanilla thing, because it's a compound entity. Yeah, figured. Probably something like that. Wait, why is my browser not closing? Uh-oh. Let's just leave it for now. Yeah, so this has input and output on each side for steam. This has input steam, output water. Let's start by making ourselves 
I, I, I can use this for reference because I know it's got the right ratios. Uh, 8 to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 to... 12. For the heat exchange. Is it going to be the same ratio for this part? It's normally... 7 heat exchanges to 12... Um steam turbines and those fit nicely so rate calculator says yeah, that's a really good ratio. What if we're using steam turbines? I guess the rate calculator is not necessarily... Uh, condenser turbines, rather. I guess it's not necessarily going to give us something that makes sense. Condensing steam... It, okay, so this produces steam. And uses water. This consumes condensing steam? Wait, do I have to... Can I not use the heat exchangers to make steam for this? The turbines output water, not steam. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Uh, is this going to be one of those things where I need to give it an input for it to figure out what it's doing? Let's see. Steam. Condensing steam. Uh, okay. Let's see if... Okay, it, it accepts steam. That should be fine. Rate calculator's not going to like it, but that's okay. So we're producing 721 steam per second and only using 360. Oh, I didn't do the second half of these, but the shape is not going to be the same. So, well, first of all, let's just check if the ratio is, yes, it is 720. Fantastic. I just want to double check. I think those are exactly the same. 12 of these. Yep. Good. Alright. So what's the shape of this going to look like? Um, I guess something like this. And like so. And we need the water to come back. I wonder if it's possible to get a more satisfying shape with this. If we do it like that, there's no room for a pipe to get over there. If we just do a long one, it doesn't work that well. If we move this up a tile... Oh, the underground pipe will never fit up this way anyway. Hmm. 
I'm really not sure how I want to shape this. It's quite happy with this design, but obviously that's not going to work out so well. Better head to work. Good luck. All right, take care. Uh, slip second. Thanks for dropping by. And... We could just do a row of them, I guess. Maybe do it a bit like this. Uh, that's not gonna work. That can go there. This would obviously be a little bit closer. We need like eight of these, I think. Uh, I stand corrected. We need 16 of them. If we're going to surround eight uh, nuclear reactors. Although I suppose I could build an even bigger one. Since we've got all the space. I would have to look up the ratio for a larger one. Well, let's just build this one first and whatever design challenges that are unique to this, we'll, um, we'll have those figured out before we try to scale up some more. I also wouldn't mind having a bit of storage for the steam. Maybe even... No, it needs to connect to the sides for each of them, doesn't it? But that is where the steam will have to go if it's going to be stored. Oh, this might be promising. Um, I'm just going to mirror that for the... Oh. Just gonna mirror that for the moment and thinking maybe something like this. Don't need to store the water. And that should be pretty easy to... Oh, that's a good fit. It's a very good fit, actually. Um, except that doesn't need to be connected, does it? I also forgot to take into account just how much water this is all going to consume. Um... We're probably going to need... We could deliver it by cannon. I think I don't mind... Well... We're already going to deliver ice by rocket. So as long as it's in the robo-network, it'll be fine to do that again. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to use ice to keep up with this. Because uh, the last time we built a nuclear plant kind of like this, we had the pumps right next to 
all of the water consumers. Um, suffice to say, it's going to be hard to keep up. So let's see. I could put... Um, I need water from ice. There we go. Hey, Mucky. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How you been? And Benny, thank you very much for the sub. Three months, wow. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Doing well, that's good to hear. Hey, high speed. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't know that this will be necessary, but... Well, no, we're not doing it like that. How fast does this make water? 1.6k per second. That's pretty much the limit of what you can squeeze through a pipe. I, I think it is literally the limit of what you can squeeze through a... Um, a regular pipe, uh, a space pipe rather. A regular pipe is 1.2k. Where's my pump? Pump goes here. And uh, give it some power. I'm going to put in some water. 3,000 per second? Huh. That's interesting. Uh, let's just double check we are indeed deleting all of this. Yeah, 3,000 per second. And let's put that at exactly 100%. I said exactly 100%. Um, I want to be absolutely sure this is... Why is it stuck at 50? Okay, let's let this build up for a second. And a bit faster, please. Okay, now how fast is this? 3,000 per second. Okay, good to know. So, if one of these can do 4.16k per second, it can definitely go as fast as a pipe can handle. But all we need for... Each set of this is 721. So we could do four of these supported by one pipe. Um, so let's do that. Oh, also... We need to double the number of... Uh, condenser turbines in here. Almost forgot that minor detail. So we need all of the steam from this side to go to here as well. Uh, Brunk, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Should I put this on the other side as well? Is that going to matter? I'm not sure which way... I guess we'll have the water come out here. And... Connect back up to that. That's the right ratio, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. So we got 
The water feeds back into itself, steam comes to here as well as here. Seems good. Let's mirror that. Why can't I flip it? Condenser turbine cannot be flipped. Okay. Should those be... Is it okay to connect those? I don't think it matters. Oh, we might... Yeah, we're only pushing through 721 water. I think it's okay to put those together. And then we need to do that uh, a number of times more. And not like that. Okay. Maybe we could... No, that wouldn't fit. That should be fine. Let's get some heat pipe. Up here. And... Oops. I think that's one quarter of what we're looking for. So this is 7 to 12 times 4, and then multiply all of that times 4. Yeah. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. Let's just move all of this out of the way for now. Uh, let me just blueprint this, but remove this stuff so we can flip it. And that's going to be same, right? I think. How do you fit the power poles? We shall see. That's looking like a pretty good question, actually. Unless... Oh, that's tragic. That's so close. Hmm. If I... I was going to say if I separate this by two tiles, but that wouldn't quite do it. Just unlock pylon substations? I can't. Uh, I could maybe put this on this side as well, I guess. Anyway, I'm getting distracted by the main problem here. We need substations to fit through this stuff. I could add a bit of room between those like I did over here. Don't really want to have to do that, but... Or I could even remove some of these storage tanks. Those are energy too. Yeah. Maybe... I can't quite fit another couple. Hmm. I could actually just... move this. Have a regular space pipe go here. 
do the same thing on the other side. I'll delete all of this so I'm not messing up when I move this stuff around. Actually, how far apart can these be? Oh, that's exactly the limit. Okay. And regular pipe. Gonna need some big electric poles. And... I think for now I'll just remove the condensers. Easy to put back in, and this way we can copy, paste, and flip. Uh, we need to fit these in somewhere. I think it has to be like that. We're going to use bots for the input-output. Quester chests. Uh, nuclear fuel. By which I mean uranium fuel cell. Going to need some... Subbies over here. If that's gonna connect all of those. No, it isn't. Oh, that looks kind of nice. Why doesn't it do it on this side? Oh, because this is not in the exact same spot. Hmm. I think I like it better if we do it like this on both ends. Yeah, I kind of like that. Looks kind of like a bird enemy in a low-res game or something. Alright, so then we've got output, uh, we also want to connect all these, we're only going to put fuel in if steam is below some amount. Actually, I can use the anything value for this. Everything less than 1,000 or something. Let's get some power just to make the flashing stop. And copy this all over here. And are you not connected to the substation? I think I forgot to do that. There we go. Right. So if steam is below some amount, we will put fuel in. Bland and bankrupt? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Alright, so let's get our condenser turbines back. Flip them over. Goes there, and... Like so. And then we just need to turn ice into water. I think I would like to add a couple of roboports. Uh, if I can remember where to find roboports. There we go. 
let's put them as far apart here as possible. That should be fine. There's no way I could make the middle a bit tighter, is there? No, I don't think so. Okay. So we're going to need a supply of ice. And turn it into water. One of these will do 1.6k. Oh, how much do we need for the whole thing? We need four pipes. So I think we'll put some speed modules in this. And replicate. Oh, 2.88k. 2.886k. That is a little bit upsetting, not going to lie. I guess I could put efficiency in this. How much power would this use? 10.2 megawatts versus... Uh, 7.2. Significantly over. If I really want to get more power out of this... What about speed 2s? That is just enough water, and we're down to 5.4 megawatts. Okay. Now, can we fit that here? Just barely. So we're going to do a pipe like this, and a pipe like this. And then this actually needs some power. I need a subby. That's not quite going to do it. Uh, maybe I could put these further in or something. Like here, with the rubber port. That's actually a pretty good fit. Yeah, I kind of like that. I don't suppose we could fit, um... Well, we could definitely fit one cargo landing pad right here. We could even do two of them if we really want to. I'm pretty sure that is ludicrous overkill. But on the other hand, if we only use one, it won't be symmetrical. Let's give it some super sata. And that's not quite going to give this thing any power, is it? Okay. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Put some solar in the middle for good measure. Yeah, why not? Especially... Oh, that's a good fit. That's a very good fit, actually. Especially considering how... Oh, that's too perfect. Hmm. 
was I going to say? Oh, is that going to... Oh, that's... Yeah, that'll be fine. Just barely avoids that thing. Although I could always have moved the part where... Didn't realize that was an issue. It's not actually an issue, but... Definitely want to tidy that up if I can. The water doesn't connect from top to bottom. That's correct. Uh, this is water, isn't it? Yeah. Wait, is this facing? That looks kind of weird. Unfortunately, we can't make that 11 tiles. And... Just to confirm again, each quarter... Yeah, 3,000 water per second is the limit to go through here. And... We need a little bit less than 3,000. That should work, theoretically. Um, although I wouldn't be surprised if trying it without a pump we get slightly different results. So let's get rid of this now. Just confirm that there's nothing giving free power over here. Nope. That's not going to have power. Oh, the solar panels, I forgot. Um, let me just make sure... This, I'm pretty sure this thing is... self-perpetuating. Okay, yeah. That would probably help with t for testing purposes to not have the solar panels in for the moment. Alright, so we've already stopped putting fuel in. That's good. Um, I guess now... Now we can check and see how long this will actually run... ...without more water being put in. I'm a little concerned by the fact that we immediately saw all of the water disappear. Um, it, is the water just being consumed instantly? I guess that makes sense. We're getting... Uh, 1.1 1. 1 gigawatts, that... I guess that's a decent amount. Need also a way for the rocket parts from the silos? Yeah, that's just a matter of... We've already got an automatic filter on these because they're direct inserting. And we just need to add a filter inserter somewhere, probably like here, and that's going to take out, no, oh, let's actually just blacklist it and we'll put ice. No, I think I'd like it better if it's whitelist, it's more sort of descriptive. Cargo rocket section. And same thing on this side. And don't forget to have some RoboPods. These items right here are not part of the final build. Uh, I hope the RoboPods are going to be able to touch at this range. Th 
they are. Wait, which one is that connected to? Oh. Yeah, no, that doesn't reach. That's unfortunate. What if we put it here? Nope. That just barely reaches. Okay. I guess I can live with that, technically. You're storing steam, so all water is indeed consumed if there's no demand for power. Uh, that's true, but... Oh. Okay, we're not full on steam just yet. Alright. What if we wait till it's full? I guess it is really overkill, actually, to have enough biochemical plants to support to support this as if it was using steam turbines. We probably only need one. In fact, I'm sure we only need one, and it doesn't even need any modules. Since 99% of the steam gets recycled. Requires electricity demand and space to output fluids to function. Oh, there's not enough electricity demand. Alright, let's turn this into... Input? Then we have no satisfaction. <laughs> that may have been a bit overkill. Can I set this to consume until 500 gigawatts? Satisfaction is only 850 megawatts. Okay. Alright, let's see what happens to the water now, if we remove this. It does not immediately disappear. Okay. Um, I kind of want to see if just one of these is going to be enough to support the whole system. Although I, I realize now I don't know how I'm supposed to get water up here. Let's say for the sake of argument that we do this. Oh, it would probably help if I gave it some ice. Looks like it's producing at full power. Wait, no, we have to... It was like 800 megawatts that this thing could produce, right? Oh, 1.1 gigawatts? Wait, what? Oh, it won't let me go to... I can't use... Oh, I can use decimals. Okay, cool. Alright, so that is consuming a bit more than it's producing. And apparently that's all it takes to completely shut down. Oh, priority tertiary. There we go. Priority tertiary seems to make it not consume anything. 
Let's go secondary. There we go. So we're not producing enough power, but the stuff is still working. It can I control the water level on my setup so the turbines always have space to to output the water. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so we need some storage for water. Or at the very least, one storage tank for water so that we can see what the level is. So... Uh, water... Let's just use everything less than... 20,000? That's 10,000. That's interesting. The inserter stopped before the display for the water level caught up to where it was actually showing 10,000. We appear to still be gaining water. Why are we gaining water? Oh, maybe it was because of what was already here was draining over this way? No? Doesn't look like it. Could also connect the water input into steam tanks. They're full enough. Stop water input. No need to have a dedicated tank. If they're full enough, stop water input. Oh, you mean just, like, connect the water to uh, electric boilers to put steam into the system? I, and I could have some regular steam turbines as a sink. If... Yeah, I don't understand why we're gaining water now. That's, um... Odd. I think it's from the steam buffers. Oh yeah, good point. Interesting. This is more complicated than I thought it would be. So, we've still got a lot of nuclear fuel. I think I set these to steam has to be less than 1,000 to put more in. Output full. And it's the steam that it's not outputting. Wait. That means the ratio of 7 to 12 of these is... It's, it's only correct before these things start outputting steam. Hmm. I mean, wait, the... Why is the result... Condensing steam. I am confusion. In any case, it is about time to finish the stream for today. Uh, let's see who else is streaming Factorio. That way you don't need to monitor water levels. Yeah, I'll have to run this uh, for a while and see what it does. And if absolutely necessary, I guess we could add a, a sink for steam. I guess that's no big deal anyway. Uh, I don't know. In any case... Uh, Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have questions or anything, by all means let me know. The turbines are working as intended. It's very confusing, but they are working. Okay, cool. Thanks, Mass. It was quite a task to get a condenser power plant working. Thanks for the stream. No worries. Thanks uh, for stopping by, Jura. Take care, guys.
Have a good one. And say hello to Intertooth. See you, Velda. Take care. Uh, nope. That's that. 